Hi everyone, this week we've been very much concentrating on sending you lots of communications about our return to the Academy next week. We're really excited to see the students return. The phase return takes place through the whole of the first few days and you've had all the information regarding that. We've also sent out some information to ask you about some frequently asked questions and I've given you the responses to those. But it's very clear that a lot of the concerns relate around the testing procedures. So to try and make you feel better about what, how those operate, I'm going to do a little demonstration for you today. Each child will receive their own test kit box and inside the box will be a, a set of instructions. There's also links to instructions in other home languages. There'll be three little sw swathes of liquid, three swabs, three test tubes, and a testing strip, which will be sealed, but I've all prepared this one already. And then a box, which can be used to hold the test tube to make the testing process easier. You may also prefer to have this somewhere where you can use a mirror to aid the process. So in carrying out a test, the first thing is to read the instructions, and then you need to wash your hands either with soap or hand sanitizer. I've already talked through the components of the kit, but you then open up the test sachet and take out the lateral flow test. You put the test tube inside the corner extraction holder and then you take the vial of liquid and pour the vial into the test tube. You need to make sure that you are careful in getting as much of this liquid in there as possible and I will bring this section out for you to see. You then need to blow your nose so that your nose is nice and clean and then you take out your testing swab. It tells you which end to open it at and if you then pull it out and avoid touching the opposite end. This is for you to test inside your mouth, so you go to the back of your tonsils and you go four times touching the back of your mouth, right near your tonsils, four times either side. You then take it and put it upside your nostril, and again this time each nostril ten times, circling it round inside your nostril. Once you've done the two tests, you then take the test and put it into the liquid and you rotate it inside the liquid for 15 seconds. Now I'm not going to spend 15 seconds in this example, but once I've finished my 15 seconds, I drag the edge of the test onto the side of the test tube and then there will be inside the pack um, a little sealed bag to get rid of any of the rubbish that you have and you put the lid onto the test tube. You remove the test tube and you bring it across to the lateral flow test. On the lateral flow test you've got two little windows. One's got an S next to it and one's got the letters C and T next to it. You're going to put two drops of the liquid into the S. One, two. You then can return the test tube into the hole for safekeeping. What now happens is the liquid moves along the lateral flow test and the card at the bottom will gradually turn from white to a grey colour. As it comes along, it will pass the positioning of the letters C and the T. If you get a red line at C, then that means you are negative. If you get a red line at C and T, then that means you're positive. If you get a red line just at T, then it's a void result and you need to retest. I hope that makes sense. So here then is the instruction booklet with the page that shows you how to read the test. And as you can see from the test that I've taken, this would have been a negative test because obviously I didn't actually put it in my mouth and nose, but you can clearly now see the red line showing at the letter C and that tells me that it's a negative result. 
I hope you've all found that useful and informative, but of course there are many other video clips available from the DfE and the National Health Service on the internet. Take care, have a good weekend everyone. Looking forward to seeing your children on Monday.